So I've been in focus for 20 years now. I've been here since I was two and I came um, with my mom after my sister had uh, gone through a VBS week here and um, she had experienced Jesus in church for probably the first time in her life. And my mom was super interested to hear about this Jesus and this church that uh, she had experienced. And so my mom decided to give it a try after probably not really being in church her whole life. And um, she came the next Sunday and we seriously haven't left since. I've not been here for 20 years. Um, so my dad, um, he's in the military, and being in the military, you PCS a lot, so that means you live in a ton of different places, you know. So we lived in like Germany, North Carolina, so on and so forth. But when we moved here, you know, um, I mean, my dad just felt led to, to really get plugged into the local church, and we happened to find and focus church on the internet, and we just went. So I, like I said, I spent a lot of time going through the motions as a kid and um, doing what my mom wanted me to do. And so that had me serving at a really young age. I started serving as soon as I could in sixth grade, um, but really that led to a burnout. And so when I um, really decided that I wanted to follow hard after God and dedicate my life to Him and um, just live in close relationship with him. He taught me that any talent, any treasure that I have, any um, ounce of skill that I've ever had, anything I've ever done, accomplishments are not from myself. That um, he is the only person that can give me talent and any creative thought, any creative idea, anything that I've ever had is from him. And that has placed a desire in me to glorify him with those things. And as I continue to learn um, about him and um, just who he is, it's just taught me that I can't take pride in anything I've ever done or anything that I have in this life. And so I have this desire to glorify him with that. And so I feel like that's really changed how I serve this church and serve this specific church body. And it, um, I'm excited to come to church every week still after being here for so long. And I'm excited to serve the people of this church and to see other people serve and get plugged in because I know the value of that now. Pastor Robert has a saying, and it comes from his favorite movie, Nacho Libre. Your skills puts my skills in the ring equals tag team, right? And he'll say it just like that, you know, with all that emphasis or whatever. Um, but I mean, you know, Pastor Robert, you know, pouring into me, um, I mean, I didn't just learn about, you know, what it meant to be a good, you know, a hard worker or, you know, to use my hands to, to craft things or to even help set up for, for events. But, you know, I mean, Pastor Robert really showed me what it meant to, to love on people. And that's one of the biggest takeaways for me is, you know, loving on others and, I mean, serving and loving what you do, right? Because, I mean, oftentimes I know we can get in, in this place of, you know, complacency or taking these things for granted, right? I mean, really loving what you do, loving, loving, just loving the fact that you get to serve God and really being all in, right? I mean, you can't not be all in as a believer. There's no half and half, you know, you're... You're either doing one thing or the other. There's no gray area. After working with Pastor, after working with Pastor Robert for about five years, um, I mean, God called me to the college campus to really reach the lost there. And I mean, what I'm really excited for is, you know, God reaching, you know, my current generation and the generations after me. You know, um, and them following them following Christ um, with all their life, you know, and I mean, that's probably what I'm most excited for, you know, is reaching the loss of the next generation. Yeah, that's great. I was going to say something similar. It's just, it's so encouraging to me because I've been here for so long. I've been able to see so many um, lives changed and so many people that I've grown up with just pursue hard after God. And so it's super encouraging to me to see the next generation just go hard after God and uh, it's encouraging to me to see how people that I've grown up with just grow into amazing leaders and that is so exciting to me to see that we can do this like 
uh, the next generation is, are the leaders of this church. And I know that we uh, have that passion and desire to see lost people saved and for God to be in the center of everything that we do. And I'm super excited for that.